Before the video begins, I'd like to thank the people listed on the screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. Welcome to Let's Play Toka Championship Racing Part 49, and it is time for the finale, the the, the showcase of all the silly shit. And it's, I'm re-recording it because the first time eh, I did it on stream, it was kind of a mess, and this time I'm going to just record it, and uh, it's going to be a little more organized, so... There's a lot of cheat codes and special unlockables to check out in this game, and we're going to check them all out. So, as well as some other um, things like weather effects that were not shown in the uh, championship modes. So, we're just going to go to a single race, one lap race, no qualifying. And the first thing is, I'm going to show off foggy weather. Well, medium AI, sure. And here's where we input our cheat codes in the name select screen. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, lock everything. So I'm gonna use CM lock in case you wanna lock everything, and when I do... Cheat mode enabled. Tiff tells you that you've uh, uh, enabled the cheat, and there you go. So now, with CM lock, all the tracks past Silverstone, or every track other than Donington GP and Silverstone are now relocked, as if you just started a brand new game. Cool. I think it may also lock the Toka Challenge? Or Toka Showdown? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but, it's okay. We have an easy way of fixing this, because... With... This... With J Hamo... Cheat mode enabled! We have... All the tracks re-unlocked, and you weren't supposed to see that yet. Pay no mind to what you just saw. So yeah, there we go. All the tracks are re-unlocked, especially as well as a special a bonus track that we'll we'll get to later. So as far as other unlocks, we also have. Let's see. Just kind of looking at my list here. We also have Gone Go Go. Cheat mode enabled. Which unlocks all the bonus vehicles in this game, which they're. I'll get into details about that when we get to that, but for now, yeah, we've unlocked that. Alternatively, we can also use CM Garage to unlock a certain bonus vehicle. Cheat mode enabled. There's that. And finally, our last unlock uh, cheat code that we have is Hat Screen. Don't know what that means, but Cheat mode there you go. Enabled. Pat Scream unlocks the Toka Showdown mode in case you don't have it unlocked yet and don't want to go through a full championship, so there's that. All that now. Um, before I get into more cheat codes, I'm just going to show off the foggy weather as well as our unlockable vehicle in this game. So we scroll through here past the Renault Laguna and we scroll right once more and we have a tank. It, it, tank. Yep, all-wheel drive, 16-valve, guns aplenty. So we're going to drive a tank, and we're just going to drive it around somewhere. Uh, let's take it to Brands Hatch, sure, why not? So, let's do a quick race here at Brands Hatch in our tank. A fucking tank. And uh, then I'll start showing off some more cheat codes. Just load the track up real quick, yeah. Gravy, here we go. So here's the tank. Uh, it's interesting to note that the tank does not have an interior view, instead, it just has uh, pretty much a bumper cam. Also, the tank replaces, I believe, the Peugeot. So you'll also there'll be also another tank on the track as your teammate. Anyways, the special thing about the tank, as I just did there, if you press R2, I believe the horn button, you fire missile and uh yeah it, it, it creates big booms wrecks shit it's really cool you can also wreck yourself with it as i'm about to demonstrate or i can just go out of bounds i would do didn't realize there wasn't a wall there i'm gonna shoot it at these people come on want to hit the wall Probably be better if I was like going downhill somewhere. So I'm gonna do that. Or I can hit a car. Start finishing the race. 
by going down it. Well, yeah, reaching the landing is like a downhill portion. Just, uh, come on. Okay, man. Damn, it has too wide of an arc. I can't do it. It's okay, I got this. I'll, I'll figure this. Anyways, you can launch yourself with the, the missile. Is what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, something like that. That's the thing you can do. Anyways, enough wasting time there. So there's the tank. And you know what? Let's, ra let's race again real quick. You can also uh, shoot it before the race actually starts. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite hit anybody here at the Grand Sasquatch grid. But it can potentially fuck up other cars before the race even starts. Really cool. Uh... Anyways, that's enough of the tank. Alright, let's move on to our next G-Codes. Of course, I also forgot to mention the whole foggy weather. Yeah, foggy reduces uh, visibility. Anyways, here's our other weather effect. We have we also have snow in this game, so that's cool. Anyways, there's some... Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to do this correctly. So, we have some AI... Um, ...cheats to uh, use here. First is CM Mayhem. Cheat mode enabled. Yeah. And that what that does is gonna make the AI incredibly aggressive. As well as I'm gonna activate CM Boost Me. Which gives everyone a Cheat mode big power enabled. boost. And we go a lot faster. Another thing I'm gonna activate as well while I'm here is CM Handy. Mode You'll see what enabled. that does when I go on the track. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to activate one more. And that is... I think this is the correct one. Let me just look real quick. Yep, this is the correct one. Okay. CM Chun or Chun or whatever. Cheat mode enabled. Just enable that. Let's pick an actual car. Let's go with the... Let's play, drive the Renault. Sure, why not? And go to Donington short. Alright, so here we are at Donington in the snow. So here's the snow. It's pretty much the same as rain except the snow texture. Anyways, we need to go to the in-car camera to see what the uh oh god. Oh god, bouncy. There's not enough grip on this icy road for the boost. Anyways, yeah, cars are kinda going fast, really, really fast. And you can't really tell, because uh I'll have to disable boost me to get a really good look at the, uh, the CM Mayhem. But yeah, kind of cars kind of vroom. <laughs> just, just vroom. Definitely going a lot faster than 90 miles an hour. That's good when there's snow. Anyways, go to the in-car view. Now here are two of the cheat codes in action. Um, see him handy. That uh, makes your hands really big. And CM Chun uh, basically removes the body of the car uh, in the interior view. So it's kind of like a go kart mode, basically. It's pretty cool. So yeah, there's those. And yay, I finished last. Because I suck. Oh, hey, here they come. Here they come going all fast and aggressive and shit. Alright, anyways, let's show off our next codes. Okay, so before I activate any more codes, I'm going to uh, deactivate X Boost Me. Which, in order to deactivate a code, all you have to do is re-enter it in the cheat screen. Then it'll flip back to the name select screen. Tiff Nadell won't say anything, but there you go. So now that's disabled. So I can show off the CM Mayhem a little better. Um, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and activate CM Low Grav. Probably guess what this does, but you would be slightly wrong. Oh, I spelled it wrong. There's not supposed to be a W there. Whoops. That would explain a lot. Cheat mode there enabled. We go. There we go. And another one is B. The good old cheat code B. No. Uh, CM, let's see, what is it? Okay, CM Cartoon Network. No. CM Cat Dog. Cheat mode That's another enabled. Another really fun one. So, uh,. Yeah, also, let's go ahead and activate the 
Axiom follow. Cheat mode enabled. As well as Axiom Copter. Cheat mode enabled. Now, I know I'm enabling a lot of cheat codes here, but I will explain what they are as we go. So, you know, some tracks are now disabled. This is because of the CM Copter, which I'll explain in a moment. But first, we're going to go to Knock Hill and show off all our new codes. Our new cheat modes that we've enabled. So let me just, uh, I have a list here. I'm just kind of going through the list to make sure I'm using all the codes. There's also one more code I need to, uh, explain because it's a little weird. But anyways, here's, well, you see what CM Cat Dog does. It is now raining cats and dogs. Literally. Yep. Anyways, hopefully we can see the uh, the mayhem cheat a little better here with the AI being super aggressive. They just kind of they're ramming into each other. They don't care. They don't care about anyone's well-being. They'll just ram, ram, ram. Anyways, if you look there, I break the sign. The sign's just kind of floating up. That's the C, the low gravity. You see him low grav. It doesn't actually reduce the gravity of any of the cars in the game. It just reduces the gravity of stuff that you hit and break, like these uh, breaking boards, for example. They just kind of float off into space. Now, as far as the... Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, yes. Uh, as far as the follow, see him follow. Oh, here's see him copter first off. This is why some of the uh, tracks were disabled, because not all tracks have a helicopter flying through. So, when you have see him copter active, you can only go to tracks that have a helicopter. And basically, it's just a camera that follows a helicopter around. You have no idea where you are. Hey, look, there's cars going all over the place. And apparently that replaces the other camera that I was that I had activated. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So yeah, there's all that. Pretty great. Of course I still have big hand and all that crap open. That's great. But anyways, let's show off our next uh, pair of cheat codes. Okay, so first things first is disable CM Copter so I can use the uh, the CM Follow code. I'm also gonna go ahead and activate CM Micro. Cheat mode enabled. See that? And um, let's see. Ooh, okay. Also going to go ahead and. CM rain up. I'm trying to do, use as many in one setting as Cheat I can to uh, kind of streamline this. I'm not, I know I'm not doing a good job, but hey, whatever. All right, next up, I'm gonna actually disable CM mayhem and replace it with a different type of AI G code. And that is CM M pos. Cheat mode enabled. All right. So there's all of that, so uh, let's go ahead and get in the Ford Mondeo. Just kind of go through the cars, why not? And let's go to Olden Park. Why? I don't know. Why? Here's why. I'm Simon Miller. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so dumb, I'm so sorry. Anyways. Do, do, do. I just realized there's one other one I should have used, oh well. So anyways, see them rain up. Um, we still have cats and dogs active, but you see the cats and dogs are raining upwards now. It also works with regular rain. Yeah, rain up. Anyway, see them in POS. It basically um, is basically a super hard mode for the AI. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So yeah, they're even like faster. <laughs> Basically, menu can kick your ass twice as hard. Uh, what else did I? Oh yeah, the uh, different cameras. Here's the uh, CM Micro. Basically, gives you a micro machine style top-down uh, view. I say micro machine style because you know micro streams is a c uh, another Codemaster game series. So you get that. It's really hard to drive through unless you 
like know the ins and outs of the track, which has been a minute since I've played this game, so a little rusty. And finally, we have, whoops, I missed, I skipped it. Anyways, this is See and Follow, which gives you the replay highlight cinematic cameras while playing in-game. Which is really neat. It's just like how I played GT4 with all those replays and stuff. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's called editing. Because that, that's what I did. Yeah, there's all that. I like this camera. Kind of disorienting, because, you know, stuff, but hey. There you go. It's actually pretty cool. And hooray, I finished last. In menu one. Surprising. Surprise, surprise, surprise. So now, I think that's, that's almost everything, except there's a few more things to show off. So, first things first is... Uh, let's see, I'm actually going to disable seeing the pause so I can actually, like, drive and keep up, because keeping up is something I need for this next code. So... Just input CM. Also, you notice how most of these codes start with CM. CM as in code masters, you know. Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway, CM, no. Whoa. Scrolling a little fast. Though. Cheat mode. Anyway, CM enabled. no hits. As well. CM. Two. Cheat mode enabled. Alright. So let's try the Volvo for this one, because why not? And let's go to. Let's go to Thruxton. Alright, so here is... Oh, hey, this actually... Okay. Apparently... So, CM2 apparently disables, uh... Whatever... Disables rain, so cat dogs disabled. But anyways, there's CM2. It changes the skybox into a very cartoony background. Pretty cool. And, uh... Let's see, what else do I put in? Oh, yeah, CM no hit. I'm... Fucking stupid, and... Okay. This is not how to show off CM. You know what? I'm gonna show off the other way. Let's go backwards for a moment. Should be approaching the cars any minute now. Going backwards here. Any minute now. And there they are. There you go. This is what CM No Hits does. It disables collisions with all the cars, even the AI cars with each other. So they can... Pretty much everyone can drive through each other. Forever. So that's what CM No Hits does. And, uh, yeah. That, that's a quick showcase of that. So, now... I need to, I need to do a little a little rapid fire here for a moment so uh cuz I got three codes left to show plus an extra bonus so um yeah I'll just put it on easy fuck it maybe show the hook no hit a little better but anyway the first thing I need to do is disable CM disable CW because it's a shitty network anyways disable CM tune for our next uh, skybox code to work that is CM Disco. We going Cheat to Disco. Enabled. Yeah. And we're gonna drive Vauxhall in the Disco at Silverstone. Alright, so here we are at Silverstone and here's the Disco. Changes the weather to fog and the fog is now rainbow. It is rainbow. Rainbow fog. Isn't that just freaking cool? I like it. I'm going down to the Dishgo, my dude. Foggy ass Dishgo. Reminds me of the uh, the fucking the one two three funk video I made of WRC two. Anyways, here's a better uh, look at CM No Hits. You see how even AI cars are clipping into each other because no hit detection. Pretty neat. I've forgotten which track I'm on. I followed that Thruxton for a moment. No, Silverstone. Yeah, there's the disco. I like the disco. All disco y and shit. But yeah, there's that, so we're gonna move on to our next code now. Alright, well, CM Disco now disabled. I'm going to input CM Stars. 
seat mode enabled. And we're just, we're just gonna go drive the Audi Dollington. And here we go. See him stars. It changes the skybox to a nighttime theme. So it's almost like night racing. Even though it doesn't actually make it even darker. Just changes the skybox to a nighttime theme. What is happening over to the right of me? Got some trees clipping. Got some layering issues there. Never saw that before. So yeah, there's that. And hey, blast through the field with the no hit. You know, let's do it micro machine style. Oh god, I don't remember Donington well enough to do this. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, there we go. Never mind. We. So yeah, there's the there's the stars. Pretty neat. Anyways, one more aesthetic thing to show off, and oh boy, is it something. Alright kids, it's time to hurt some brains, because we are inputting, if I can learn how to spell, see them upside. Cheat mode enabled. Yep, we're doing this, so, uh, fucking, you. Yeah. yeah. And here we are, see them upside, um, yeah. I think you can figure out what this does. Um... Yeah, everything's turned upside down. Turned upside down, not flipped. So, if it was flipped upside down, then I'd be, you know, turning left. I'd be holding right right now to go to turn that way. But no, this is turned upside down. It's different. It's different, I swear. Anyways, yeah, um, I, this hurts my brain. <laughs> this very much hurts my brain. And there we go. I'm holding right, thinking I can. Thinking that'll take me right. No, that takes me left. So hey, if you ever want to fuck with your friends with this game, and you and it's also 1998, activate this cheat code without them knowing and just fuck their brains. And was that's cool. So now, um, that's pretty much all the cheat codes. I wanted to talk about one more, but I'll get into that in a moment. And there's also something other, or something else, that is uh, pretty neat in this game, so uh, give me a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and I just reset the entire game to disable all the cheat codes. Now, there's one cheat code I need to talk about, and that is Flexmobile. Now, this is an interesting cheat code because you can't actually input it in this version of the game. Um, this is pretty much a PAL exclusive cheat code. Um, you add an E to the end of that, Flexmobile, you unlock another special car past the tank, which is basically uh, like a 50s kind of like American Hot Rod or whatever, or like, you know, Cruise Mobile. Um, if you want to know what the Flexmobile is, uh, I, you know, I invite you to watch my friend The Real Meals uh, Let's Play of this game. He actually is able to show off the Flexmobile because he lives in Britain, therefore he has the PAL version of this game. Not sure why it was uh, omitted from this version of the game, but it was. So, oh well. Anyways, we're going to pick the Renault here. And there's one more thing to show off in this game, and that is our secret hidden track, Lava Land. Fastest lap by Fire Lord. Location, Hades. Yep, this is our special unlockable track that I slightly spoiled earlier in this video, but hey, whatever. So this is the last thing to uh, show off here in Toka Championship Racing. You see the loading screen, it has a uh, Olten Park. The map has been blown up and the Olten Park name has been scribbled out to replace Lava Land. And here is Lava Land. We're in a volcano. I guess we're in a hell actually, but because location is, but yeah. This is the Lava Land track. It's basically a really weird and crazy figure eight track, and because I have the AI set on easy, we're gonna go very slowly. We're gonna even probably wanna go very slowly around here. Um, I really like this. This is a really cool uh, bonus here. We got some lava rocks over here, whatever, or boxes or something. This is really cool. It's also really easy to flip over your car because of the undulation and also the fact that you know you just fall. But um, don't worry about falling. I'll show what happens either now or preferably at the end of the lap. Or I can flip my car. That works too. 
That was the laziest roll I've ever seen. Or half roll, that quarter roll even. That was the laziest quarter roll. And there we go, that's a lap of lava land. Now, maybe thinking, oh man, this must be like a really difficult track to like, if you screw up and go off track while well, you're screwed, no, you're, you're fine, you can drive, you can just drive on the lava, it's fine. There's invisible walls here so you don't go too far. But, uh, yeah, you can, you can just drive on it, it's fine, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. Unfortunately, you can't, like, check out shit like that because there's, a uh, you know, walls in the way. Also, this thing, which I have no idea what the hell it is, but damn, is it cool. Um, yeah. So, that's Lava Land. Really, really cool track, I have to say. I sure really like this track. Let's see where the game thinks I am in terms of actually on the track. Apparently I'm in second place. There's everybody else. Oh, and now I'm in last, okay. Like, I'm like, at what point on the track does the game, like, la did the game last score me? Probably somewhere around here. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this race around Lava Land. And that's pretty much everything to show off here in Toka, so... That will conclude this Let's Play. Um... I would like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, this has been a really fun Let's Play for me, as stressful as the later championships, like, races were, especially in the first championship, or first, yeah, yeah the first championship. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this wasn't something that most people who subscribe to me actually care about at all, because, trust me, I've seen it from the view count and stuff, especially compared to Underground 2. But hey, for those of you who watched it, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I will be hopefully doing Toka 2 at some point in the n closer to a near future as opposed to way out in the future. We'll see. But there we go. That will conclude this Let's Play. So again, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the, n the next one, which is going to be the beginning of Season 4 NASCAR 05. So yeah. See ya! Oh, uh, one more thing to add, actually. Um, so, as far as credits, um, I'm going to be playing the the uh, Toka Showdown credits on my channel. If you want to see the not-mirrored credits, for whatever reason, go to my second channel, where I actually showed um, this entire playthrough with no commentary. In case you're into that. And also show the, uh, the credits for the regular championship. Not-mirrored. Okay, thanks, bye.